Hi, friends and family and fools, all yous. So we're just talking about pride and um, reading this book, Letting Go by David R. Hawkins and looking into some things because I did realize some things about myself that I hadn't been able to see before. And it's really cool like how it does relate to what was occurring or what was unfolding last June. And um, some of those things, those same themes and challenges are coming up again to be reviewed and, uh, and to help us like uh, practice and apply what we've learned through this cycle. And so I thought it was like a very awesome time to review some things. So I just wanted to share a little bit about my experience of what was happening like for me and what, what was emerging and coming up uh, to be uh, acknowledged, reintegrated or yeah, neutralized, alchemized, purified within me. And so, um, yeah, it does have a lot to do with like the false image and um, the ego, like the, the one that thinks he runs the show, you know, and the super ego, like, or the spiritual ego. And that was coming up a lot for me and um, needing that validation and that external approval uh, to feel like safe and secure and feeling like resentments like come up and disappointments come up because yeah I wasn't like feeling like I was receiving what I needed from people I was in relationship with and so um, yeah there was just certain dynamics and things that came up to show me like where there was an imbalance and uh, and a denial and a rejection as well of the gifts that were and have been given were being given and had been yeah given and so just like being grateful for all of it the whole damn experience because like it's about all of it about harmonizing all of it and so um what was coming up for me uh the dismemberment stage which i'm reviewing again and i didn't even realize like yeah that's the pain of feeling cut off abandoned rejected separated betrayed wronged and wrongly judged and blamed, disallowed uh, to be like all I am, the not enough stories, the victim, the scapegoat, the black sheep, the monster, villain, outsider, orphan, outcast, the bitch, the martyr, the miser, the tyrant, and the slave, the wounded child, the ghost, the judge, the whore, the shadow caregiver, the saboteur, the covert, fragile narcissist, and the codependent. So rivalry, competition, comparison, better and lesser than, measuring worth, value, perfectionist, idealist, nitpicker, and spiritual ego, mother superior, the know-it-all, and the innocent, the wise one, the inner teacher, the queen, and the fool, the abandoning cruel one, the smother mother, the control freak, the devouring mother, the adversary, the order follower, the sovereign, and the epicure, the addict, the weirdo, and the fraud, the superego, the leader, the mediator, the preacher, the trickster, the angel, the guardian, the ambassador, and the messenger. And so there were some poor me stories. There was about, it was about poverty and lack and the victim mentality. And there was also some archetypal daddy issues that were coming out to, uh, to play and that I saw on the outer stage, but I actually like was going through myself in certain ways. And so those are kind of interesting to look at in a review. There's the poor me stories and what do I value? What can I nurture, care for and appreciate? And where can I fully allow me to be? Because there was this part of me that didn't feel like I could be me and uh, that I was allowed to be me. And also it was like this uh, tyrannical aspect of me uh, that had the story of what I am not supposed to be, about what I'm not, about what I should be, about what I shouldn't be, to be worthy to, and to be received, to belong and to be me, to be full, free and complete. So I want to continue with that when we come back in a moment and uh, hope you're all well. Be love for yourself. Okay, take care. We'll see you for now.